So how do songs happen? Do they come fully formed in a, a flood of inspiration? Or are they constructed like buildings, just piece by piece put together? Or maybe like sculptures, chipping away at a block of stone until something truly wonderful is revealed? Well, every songwriter is different, but the truth probably is somewhere in the middle of all of that. Here's a story of a song called Fade that started to form in my mind around about 25 years ago. I come up with a very simple chord progression that had a bit of a jazzy flavour. It was A minor 7, F major 7, and then E7 sharp 9. That's the famous Hendrix chord. My original idea was to create a very melodic guitar instrumental in the style of Jeff Beck's version of Stevie Wonder's Because We've Ended As Lovers or even Gary Moore's Parisian Walkways. In any case, I arrived at a melodic figure like this that worked well over those chords. So I decided that I was going to make this the signature of the tune. Often in a jazz context, this signature is called the head and that's played at the beginning and the end of the tune to kind of bookend it and then in the middle there's the uh, instrumental solos. So I had a similar idea that I wanted to do this, but the only problem was once I really started experimenting. I became extremely frustrated because I realised that I simply wasn't a good enough instrumentalist to pull that off. So I kind of sat on the idea for a while and I didn't really know where to take it. Well, the catalyst to turn that initial spark or idea into a fully fledged song with lyrics actually arrived later. I was going through a really difficult and stressful time in my life and some days I just simply found hard to face. At the time I was living in a house where the summer sun would rise very early and pierce through the blinds like a knife. So as I lay there thinking about how I wished I could just kind of disappear and not have to deal with the stress that inevitably was ahead, the words for the first verse of this song just sort of came to me. Breaking day, day break again, making hay for hay making man, killing time. What time slowly kills you? My brain really enjoys wordplay, and, and even though those are frankly really depressing lines, in a strange way. Putting them together kind of made me feel better. So I wrote a couple of verses, but I didn't really have a chorus as such. I decided on a tagline approach, where the end of the verse is kind of a musical turnaround that leads into the next part. And in this case, the lines When all you want to do is fail was that turnaround into the next part. My idea was to have the actual instrumental guitar melody to be a kind of instrumental chorus in between the verses. Another Gary Moore song, Still Got the Blues, is an example of that same sort of form. I even managed to write a bridge section for the song where the melody and the mood changes and takes the song to a different place. But I, I never really actually got that section finished to my satisfaction. In fact, I have a very early demo of the song that I recorded in 2006 on my old Roland VS840, uh, which I have here, and I pulled out. I managed to get it going, uh, 
to get this little bit of the song right at the beginning. Um, so I'll play that now. After that, uh, the 250 megabyte zip disk seems to have gotten confused and just like garbles on playback, so I can't really uh, get any of the rest of the song to play. Nonetheless, it was a proof of concept, I guess. However, I managed to get the song arranged in a format that I actually had in my head. and. When I got it to that point, I realised that, well, it was just a big disappointment. It was kind of maudlin, it was joyless, ultimately it was boring. So again, I had to put it on the, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time pile. Now, recently I was thinking about songs that I would record for the new Fighter Kite album. And for some reason, this tune just kept returning to my mind. So I decided to just give it one last try. I redid my demo from scratch, hoping that a fresh start might give me a new perspective on the song. It was only when I was trying to finish writing the bridge that something really clicked into place. I wanted the bridge to kind of dovetail back into the, the fade away tagline, but I was having trouble getting the, the lyrics to flow naturally. The missing link actually turned out to be this line that says, Such a seductive invitation to turn yourself around and fade away. So once that fell into place, I was struck by the idea that the song could transition at this point into something completely different with a different mood and a different rhythm, but linking the two parts together by using the same basic chord structure. So after playing around with the chords again, I came up with this little riff. The 16th note rhythm in that section suggested this kind of a unison part where the whole band all plays together and that introduces this massive change that occurs in the song. So here it is here. As happens when you're on a roll when it comes to songwriting, one idea tends to follow another in quick succession. And in this recording session where I started this demo, I managed to flesh out what ended up being the finished song. So it really paid off just giving it a fresh start. So here's how the demo sounded once I had completed it. Now, once I had the demo done, I sent a version with just the music and just the drums and the drums and music together. I sent it to Jordan McQueen, who is an online session drummer, and I got him to record his drums to what I'd laid down. And his live drum tracks really made 
the missing piece of the puzzle. The subtleties of his grace notes that he played really enhanced the feel of the song. Here's an example of Jordan's playing there. Now, I ended up using a lot of the parts from my demo on the finished recording. For example, this fretless bass part here. I also re-recorded my guitar parts through real guitar amps uh, instead of using amp simulators to sort of really get the sounds that uh, I felt were individual to my playing. Now some new harmony and vocal parts also helped to improve that transition in the song where the song turns around into the faster part. I laid down these really lush harmonies uh, under the words revelation. It took a lot of work and the extra fade away parts prior to the guitar solo, they are definitely the highest notes that I've ever recorded as a vocalist, in a lead vocal that is. So this is pretty much the finished version of the song then. It was just a matter of mixing it uh, and then sending it off for mastering. So here's a little taste of the final mastered version of the song.